acids, bases, and salts. In this class, we will study the basic properties of acids which you studied in your lower classes, particularly in 7th class. We also study the definition of acid and what are the properties of acids in this class. See, the entire life, we use so many acids and bases in our day-to-day -day life. We also use several salts in our day-to-day -day life. Okay, we will discuss all these things one by one in detail. Children, in our day-to-day -day life, we eat so many fruits like citric acid fruits and mango, banana, oranges, grapes and other salts also we use in our day-to-day -day life. See, what do these fruits consist of? We will discuss. Actually, the term acid is derived from the word acidus. What is that? Acidus. It is a Latin word. The word acid is derived from the Latin word acidus. It means that so to taste. So to taste. You might have tasted the citrus fruits. They are sore. They are sore. So acids are mainly classified into two types. Okay. On the availability, they are mainly classified into two types. One is the organic acids. What are they? Organic acids. See this one. One is the organic acids. The other one is the inorganic acid or mineral acids. So, acids are mainly classified into two types. One is organic acids. Another one is the mineral acids. Organic in the sense, they are available in all the living organisms or they are derived from the living organisms. Are you clear about that one? So these acids, mineral acids are obtained from mineral background, mineral background. See, for organic acids, examples, see this one, citric acid. What is that? Citric acid. Here also I have given the formula C6H8O7. Next, oxalic acid, C2H2O4. See this one. These are the examples for organic acids. Citric acid. This is available in citrus fruits. And see this one. Next one, oxalic acid. Oxalic acid. And tartaric acid. What is that? Tartaric acid. Next, for mineral acids, see this one. Hydrochloric acid, HCl. Next, second one is the sulfuric acid. Third one, Acetic acid, CH3COOH. Next, nitric acid, HNO3. What is that? Nitric acid. These are all the mineral acids. These are all the mineral acids. So many examples are there for mineral acids, but few examples I am giving here. Hydrochloric acid. Next one is the sulfuric acid. Next, acetic acid. Next, nitric acid and phosphoric acid. These are all the examples for mineral acid. See this one. Organic acids, these are all available in all these fruits. See this one. Different, different fruits. Citric acid. Citric acid is available in oranges, lemon. Okay. Next, oxalic acid is available in different, different fruits which we take in our day-to-day -day life. Tartaric acid is available in tamarind. Okay. Which we use in our day-to-day -day life. Now children, let us discuss what are the properties of acids which you studied in your lower classes. See, acids are so to taste, you studied in your 7th class. Next, acids dissolve in water and give H plus ions and H3O plus ions. Acids change the colors of the indicators. We will discuss what are indicators in our next class. Next. At the same time, mineral acids are corrosive. Okay, they eat the metal surfaces in which they are stored. If they fall on the metal surfaces, they eat the metal surfaces. This is known as the corrosive nature of the acids. Are you clear about that one? So, acids are 
so to taste acids are what is the first property acids are so to taste next acids dissolve in water and give h plus ions and h3 o plus ions next acids change the colors of the indicators next mineral acids mineral acids in the sense hcl hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid phosphoric acid these are all very corrosive they turn the blue litmus to red acids turn the blue litmus to red acids react with bases to give salt and water you studied this reaction as the neutralization reaction in your seventh class means acid reacts with the base to give water okay to give water and salt this reaction is known as neutralization during the process of neutralization a small quantity or huge quantity of heat is also produced that heat is known as heat of neutralization we will discuss all these things what is neutralization and what are the examples for neutralization in our next class see here i am giving the few examples which we use in our day to day life for organic acids see this one tartaric acid is the, it is available in tamarind see this one this is the tamarind so tartaric acid is present in the tamarind at the same time in grapes also tartaric acid is present in grapes also tartaric acid is present so these are the fruits which we eat in our day to day life next see these tomatoes daily we use in our kitchen tomatoes see this one what do the tomatoes consist of tomatoes consist of a mineral acid known as oxalic acid sorry it is not the mineral acid it is it is a what is that organic organic acid it consists of oxalic acid and malic acid it consists of oxalic acid and malic acid are you clear about that so these are all foods we use in our day to day life so our entire life is concerned with acids we cannot imagine our life without acid and bases now children let us discuss one of the important property of the acids what is that litmus test how do we identify the acids see acids turn the blue litmus to red acid turn blue litmus paper to red color okay you studied in your 7th class see let us do this experiment see this one observe this animation i have taken three test tubes which consists of different different acids hcl see this one in this test tube i have taken hcl and inserted what is that blue litmus paper this blue litmus paper turns to red observe this one next here also you observe this one i have taken sulfuric acid and immersed what is that blue litmus paper blue litmus paper okay the blue litmus paper turns to red you observe this one it turns to red i have taken nitric acid see this one nitric acid i inserted blue litmus paper this blue litmus paper changes to red color changes to red color you observe this one change in the color okay here also the blue litmus paper changes to red color you observe this one okay so as is turned the blue litmus paper to red here see this one i have taken an acid okay phosphoric acid or any acid you can take in this test tube and inserted what is that red litmus paper do you find any change in the color of the red litmus paper no okay there is no change in the color of the red litmus paper so simply we can conclude that acid stand the blue litmus paper to red children you observe this animation i have taken methyl orange indicator next see this one i have taken acidic solution i have taken acidic solution i am adding few drops of methyl orange indicator to the acidic solution to the acidic solution so i am adding few drops of methyl orange solution or methyl orange indicator to the acid solution what happens to the acid solution when methyl orange few drops of methyl orange indicator is added see this one the methyl orange indicator turns to red color in the acidic medium in the acidic medium you observe this one the red color of the solution red color of the solution so we can say that the methyl orange shows red color in acidic medium are you clear about that one children so i hope that you have understand this concept of acids okay part 1 
so in this class what we discussed we discussed what is an acid where from the word acid is derived and what are the few properties of acids we studied all these properties in our 7th class and we recollected all these properties of acids okay we will discuss few other properties of acids and in our next class we also discuss what are the bases okay thank you children for watching my class if you like it please subscribe my channel subscribe my channel if you have any doubt okay post your doubts to my mail address okay don't forget to subscribe to watch the further videos thank you children